Evening all, Chief Pepper here. I'll try to keep this short. So, the events in the world are uh, changing. I don't think it's for the better. Got these fucking objects flying everywhere. So within the prepping community, um, there are people who advocate fasting right now. To reduce your caloric intake to get your body used to it so that it won't be such a shock when it happens. I would advise against that. There are also people who are going to say as soon as the shit hits the fan to reduce your caloric intake. I would advise against that too. Especially if you're not used to being physically active. The more active you are, the more food you're going to need, the more calories you're going to burn. Uh, fasting now when there's plenty of food could be a good idea but I don't think it is trust me if a true shit hits the fan event where we're all fucking fighting over food and we will if it happens if the shit hits the fan event happens uh, there'll be time enough to lose weight everybody who's fat's not going to be fat for forever because everybody's going to starve to death. Literally. Even if you have food, you'll run out. So, I'm talking about food because it's super important. There are two things that are going to consume everybody's time. Food and security. We're going to become primeval and primordial. Going to go back to the caveman days where people used to spend three seasons preparing for to try to put away food for the one season where it's cold and miserable. That's going to go happen again if we lose electricity and lose all the things that we normally have. That doesn't count all the killing that will happen between people over resources. So just realize that. You also need to realize that right now when we need food, we go to the store, we get it, and come home and we cook it. Sometimes it's a frozen dinner. Sometimes it's a prepared meat, prepared meal, as in it just warm it up. Or sometimes it's a damn chicken from the store that's already cooked. Uh, right now, I struggle with the timing of pulling meat out of the freezer, thawing it out, cooking it, and I have plenty of access. So let's talk about the logistics of not the last meal I had, but the one before that, taco salad. Beef meat, I can get that from the freezer, assuming it still works. Lettuce, I have started seeds for a type of lettuce. I don't know if they're going to grow. I'll do an update on the little pods later. Cheese, I cannot reproduce. Taco chips, I... Uh, there might be someone here in my neighborhood that might know how, but I don't know how. And I don't have the ingredients. And then you have to have grease. The reason they're so bad for you is because they're fried in grease and then they, excuse me, dry them out. So, keep in mind that the logistics alone for a simple meal, which is ground beef, cheese, lettuce, tortilla chips... Only one of those ingredients can I readily reproduce. Oh, we had tomatoes too, so five. So I know I can grow tomatoes, but I can't grow them year-round. So you need to understand the importance of food, and you need to start preparing everything the prepping channels talk about, trying to get unconnected from the system. The more you do that right now, the better your chances of surviving any prolonged shit hits the van event. Assuming you don't get killed by your neighbors or you don't have to kill your neighbors in order to do that because that will change you. So, uh, Food, security are the two things that will take up 90% of your time. Water will take up a large portion of your time. Sleep will be the other portion that you can get when you can get. And you do need to wash and stay clean. So food, water, shelter, security, sanitation, cooking, food prep, growing your food. Anyway, just wanted to put this video out real quick. 
you need to understand the importance of food, understand the importance of security, understand the importance of everything, because if you do not, and you're one of those people that cuts with your pants down around your damn knees, you're going to have a long, painful death when you're going to do awful things in order to get just a mouthful of food. Realize that. Anyway, knowledge is information and power. Inf information is knowledge and power. Chief Prepper, out.